Our intelligence network has uncovered the Rebels' source for the Magpulse weapon, which was used against the ZA-13 facilities and the convoy supplying it. With the obvious tactical advantage this weapon can offer us, Vice Admiral Thrawn has personally decided to lead the assault. Upon arrival, our forces will launch from the Victory Class Star Destroyer stalwart. TIE fighter groups will engage any enemy fighters, whilst you and your wingmen in TIE defenders will use heavy rockets to quickly bring down the shields of the Rebel platform, then disable it for capture. You will then support our other fighters in eliminating any remaining Rebel resistance. There are rumours that the Rebels have a new experimental starfighter, but information is extremely limited. Expect the unexpected. Once we have secured the base and eliminated all resistance, we hope to obtain working copies of the Magpulse weapon from the platform. Gaining this technology will help us in our arms race with Zarin, as he has previously had access to this technology himself. Disable any craft fleeing from the platform so our forces can capture the occupants. We wish to capture prisoners to interrogate, preferably officers and technicians who worked on the Magpulse weapons development program. The Victory Star Destroyer Stalwart will hyper in to launch the assault. You, along with Assault Transport Leopard, will disable the platform whilst TIE Fighter Groups Alpha and TIE Advance Group Delta deal with any enemy defenders. Once the platform has been disabled, troops will land to secure the facility and retrieve the Magpulse warheads. Be aware of any potential Rebel reinforcements. They may try to destroy the facility before we can secure it or attack the Stalwart directly. Remember, your primary task is to disable the platform. K2, attacking craft, dead ahead. Keep in mind, watch out!
Watch out.
now in possession of the MagPulse technology. You've completed your mission. You may return to the stalwart. Report to the debriefing room at once. We were successful in our mission to capture several working copies of the MagPulse warhead. Unfortunately, whilst this operation was underway, the ZA-13 facilities came under attack by more of Zarin's forces. Initial reports indicate that Zarin's fleet were successful in destroying the plant, along with both Nebulon B frigates we left behind to defend them. Latest reports state that most of the other remaining Thai Advanced factories have also fallen. Zarin has been very thorough in ravaging Imperial facilities, and the Emperor is not pleased. With most of Vice Admiral Thrawn's task force now lost, we are in a very precarious position. You helped us capture most of the top Rebel staff trying to escape. We were also able to capture many important specialists who worked on developing and manufacturing the Magpul's weapon aboard the platform. Excellent work.